We can replace cars and we can rebuild structures, but we can't replace lots. To the Chevy building. So we were able to get. The Tooele Police Department shows just how fast the semi truck raced down North Main Street, sending cars flying. When I turned and looked in the whole building. Acted quickly to make sure no one was hurt at the dealership and community members came to drop off supplies and help clean up. Just an amazing, amazing outreach of support in a situation that damaged and all this. Been. This is what we're talking about here. Someone racing across the street. You can see that semi dash cam video there. Wow. So we're talking about 33 cars that were damaged, 11 people hurt. There was a car dealership that you saw there uh, that was also damaged from all of this, practically destroyed. Uh, you could hear the horns. Oh my God. And normally it's take a look. That was take a listen. Yeah, that semi just went through that intersection. Uh, and you could tell that it was trying to miss cars. But when you have failed brakes and you really can't slow down, what can you do? There were three crashes, by the way. I want to reiterate that. I think you mentioned there. This is at Main and Vine. The, the main crash that involved, you know, the, the 20 plus, 30 plus vehicles, including some of those at the dealership, that was at about 1,000 North Main Street. So it's even further down here. The, the extent of the injuries, we don't have that information. Look but at look this, at that Jamie. Camera. I mean, he, he, the, the driver is trying everything they can, it appears, mm -hmm. to avoid the road. This is the sidewalk. Wow. Yeah. So on Main scary. Street, by the way, and this is surveillance camera video from the buildings. There were a number of agencies against the dealership. We haven't seen this perspective yet. You see this car in front of you right there yeah. smashed in. It's also on fire. Yeah. Wow. And this is wow. he stops the video before he shares it with us because that's when he starts to address people that are injured. But you see the smoldering car, the fire. It's just a, a remarkable scene, really. And you can imagine the people in the building that are witnessing this and they're like, wow, what's going right. on? And then to hear about folks who are running to help people get out of their cars who were trapped in earlier complete carnage uh, as we've been mentioning all afternoon at least seven cars from where I'm standing were hit including the one I just showed you earlier the man that I spoke to said he was getting ready to leave this area got in the turning lane and saw that semi truck heading right towards him he thought he was going to die and closed his eyes when he opened them thankfully he noticed he was left uninjured I kind of went into automatic mode and went to those cars that are flipped over and looked smashed to make sure they were clear or alive or needed to be pulled out. Now, thankfully, again, no deaths have been reported as of this uh, incident, which is really, really uh, hard to believe because of all of the destruction that we saw here, all of the debris.